I'm using this under the Fair Use Act. Now, I want you to see this is uh, one of Kent Christmas's most recent videos that he's put out. And, you know, he's stating basically that Nancy Pelosi, or alluding to that Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden will be buried in March. But I also want to point out that he's made the prophecy that Donald Trump would be placed back in office by mid-March or at minimum no later than the end of March. And you can see that's the title of the video that you can go to in the channel. And once again, I remind you, all these ones have multiple channels that they pay for. And again, what I want to point out to you is this is why I am concealing many of my newest prophetic words because they have stolen and twisted all of my stuff, and I've more than proven that. I have dozens of videos that all of these Trump prophets steal my prophecy and my prophetic discernment and twist it to promote their Lord and Savior, Donald Trump, their false Messiah, Donald Trump. So this is why I have had to uh, hide away my prophecies and prophetic discernment because until I get a platform that I can uh, compete against these ones, I will at minimum not allow them uh, anymore to be able to steal and twist my prophecy. And at a bare minimum... This will allow me, with a, a different type of platform in a different manner, that if they do, by chance, get a hold of my prophecy, uh, then it will allow me to much more easily be able to completely remove all of their YouTube channels and their lying propaganda channels, their lying divinations. That is the reason I'm doing this, and because these new messages I'm giving you know, this new prophetic knowledge is uh, very credible. And if used and twisted by these false prophets, could use a lot of damage, could do a lot of damage to the body of Christ. And the ones that they follow, that follow them, these uh, blind sheep that follow these wolves in sheep's clothing. So I'm going to show you a brief snippet of this video and show you how he actually teaches against what the Bible actually says. And they will hit the trigger and say, what's wrong? And God will say, I said, not this time. Hallelujah. Not this time. Not this time. Now that speaking in tongues is what I, if you go back to what I taught about decantation, incantation versus de decantation. Now, sorcerers and witches, which is what these people are, they use incantation, and this is one of their meth methods that they use, part of the method, method that they use, and this prevents, you know, this helps to stir up the waters as opposed to decantation, which actually w means the waters have to be still so that the oil can rise to the surface of the water and so that the salt can be drawn out of the waters. And remember, you are the salt of the earth. And everything that I taught in that video about decantation and incantation. But continue to listen. And now I come against every demon spirit in the earth, hallelujah, that has come against the righteous, and I bind you in the name of the Lord Jesus, hallelujah, and we declare that we are binding you in the earth, and God says, I'm going to bind them in heaven. There is an harassment that is... Now, importantly, there, what he's teaching is what's in Scripture. So what Scripture is teaching about the binding of demons and the binding of things God does this and wants us to do this so that the demons and other people cannot stir up the waters because it is the Leviathans that stir up the waters. And you can go to Job chapter 41 to learn about that, the Leviathans that stir up the waters. The whole chapter is important to understand, but I will refer you specifically to verse 10 and verse 31, how things out the Leviathan 
People do not dare to stir up the Leviathan because it stirs up then, stirs up the waters. And also 31, how the Leviathan makes the waters boil, you know. And you must understand what the waters are. Very important to all of this. The waters are the peoples, nations, multitudes, and tongues found in Revelation 17, verse 15. Continue to listen. Come against my people that the Lord says no more. And even right now, everyone under the sound of my voice, uh, there is a stirring of the waters. Uh, it's as if the angels have stirred the waters. Uh, now there you have it. Him teaching everybody under the, the my voice, stirring up the waters. Now the scripture, uh, just two, I'm just going to give you two pieces of scripture to refer you to which is Psalms 23, verse 2. You know, God leads you beside the still waters. He does not want you to be the stirred up waters. He wants you to be the, uh, beside and the still waters. And the second scripture is Psalms 46, verse 10. God says, to be still and know that I am God. Remember, you are the waters. Revelation chapter 17, verse 15. God clearly tells you to be still and know that I am God. So see that he is teaching the complete opposite of what scripture teaches, and that can be found spoken of in Job chapter 41. These are the Leviathans of our days that are teaching doctrines of devils, teaching against script, what scripture teaches, poisonous messages that are poisoning the waters, the people's nations, multitudes, and tongues that are stirring up the waters. And God said, I loose a wave, an atmosphere, an opening of physical healing upon your bodies that every so see that he's speaking of the waves, and I've already taught about that, as it relates once again to the still waters. God doesn't want you to be a wave, and but these ones want you to be drawn into that. This is the poisoning and stirring up of the waters, this bitterness, this division that they are creating. Everything that I've spoken and taught about that, lines up with sound biblical doctrine about the waters, these ones are teaching the exact opposite. But again, these ones are warned of. These are the wolves in sheep's clothing. The sheep, the wolves, pretending to be sheep. Men, evil men who are pretending to be godly men, but are in fact teaching against, completely opposite of what scripture teaches. Completely opposite. These are the wolves in sheep's clothing, the leviathans that are poisoning, boiling, and stirring up the waters. And everything that I've spoken to this point, I'm glad that Kent Christmas just did this because this was perfect in the manner in which he did because he clearly points up, out, and speaks on stirring up the waters. There's your unequivocal proof that he teaches against what the scripture says. So what I'm going to do, again, I'm only going to be giving my most profound and newest prophetic messages uh, as unlisted so that these false prophets cannot steal and twist the revelations and prophecies given and prophetic understanding given to me to give to and share with true Christians, I will leave my email in the description box below, uh, and you can contact me if you want to contribute to this channel and what I'm doing, because I'm building a platform to that will uh, be big enough to challenge these ones so that if they try to steal my prophecy, not only will they be uh I will be able to have a platform that can show what they are, but I will also be able to take measures to remove them from YouTube with very little effort by being able to prove they're stealing my prophecy. So once again, I'll leave my email in the description box and you can email me. God bless.